wasn't a good story time. Nothing really interesting happened, you know, to make a story time about it. But this time, uh, this story time involves a Discord server that I was in that I left recently, and I wasn't sure to talk about it or to even mention the name of this server. But I was like, you know what? Fucking so many shitty and shady things has happened in that particular server that I just need to talk about it. Before I start with the story time, you should know that I have my own Discord server as I said previously and in my last video. The link is down below if you want to join in and let's get on with this video, shall we? So I'm not sure if I should say the name of the server that I was in that was literally the worst server I have ever joined because one, this server is huge. I'm talking they have thousands of members on that server and also I, you know, I met some people on that server that are now members on my server and I don't know if they watch this video, they're gonna tell the server about this video and I don't know but hopefully they're not gonna do that because they're in my server for a reason I think so yeah let's just hope that <laughs> they won't tell that server that I made a video about them and hopefully they won't attack me I got my laptop right here on the Discord website because I got DMs from members of that server and also I just talked to people who used to be in that server and they're now in my server. We're now friends and I told them, hey, I'm gonna make this video about that server so please, if you're still in that server, don't tell them about me don't tell them that i made a video about them so yeah that's how it is and for any chance uh, a person from that server watches this video i know what you did on that server don't make me expose you because i got receipts so let's go to the beginning of how i joined this server and all that so one day I got a DM from this person who I'm not gonna say their name or username they sent me an invite to join this server and I noticed that the number of members that they had was over 300,000 members and at that time I was part of like smaller servers they were not very active and I'm like oh this is like this huge server I'm gonna be part of something really huge and it's probably gonna be really active and really cool so I joined in and the first week that I joined that server it was fine I did notice that almost every member of that server were saying the n-word a lot and I felt very uncomfortable by that but I didn't really say anything about it because one, it's not my server. I can't control what people do or say in that server. Second, it was a huge server, over 300,000 people. So me, one person telling, hey, stop that. I don't think it was going to do anything. And also, they had mods. Like every server that I know, there's administrators and also moderators and what the moderators are supposed to do is to moderate what every member is doing and make sure they're not breaking the rules and since the moderators or administrators were not really doing anything or saying that hey you can't say the n-word so I thought that was okay in that server which for me was weird but other than that uh, it was fine and then one day I decided to post a selfie on the selfie channel of that server which I'll put it right here so you can see what kind of selfie it was and after posting it I got a DM from one of the members of the server so this person says hey I saw your selfie and I need to say you're very beautiful smiley face and I say thank you 
and they said, do you think you have a chance of meeting you better? And I said, sure. So tell me about yourself and all that. And then I tell them a little bit about myself. And after that, that's where it gets a little bit weird and creepy. Uh, they say, nice, I have to admit something and probably you'll block me. But my dick is very hard because of the selfie you posted. Remember, this is the selfie I posted. And they just said that this selfie make them really hard. And then they said, I'm sorry, I couldn't keep it. I'm a straight up person. That, uh, that sentence just sent me. Like, you can be a straight up person, an honest person, and not say disgusting things like that. Like, I don't understand this person logic. Again, you can be honest, you can be upfront towards people and be straight up. But that doesn't mean you get to tell these things to a stranger on the internet and then pretend that it's fine and then get away with it. Like, that doesn't happen. And then he says, I don't keep secrets. Sorry if I disgusted you. Which, okay, as you can imagine, I was very disgusted. After he said that, I didn't respond to him at all. I was about to, you know, delete the DM and block him. But then he sent me this. I know I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Are you disgusted? Sorry, I am too horny. I mean, I kind of want to have a horny chat with you. So after I said all that, I told him I have a boyfriend. And I didn't just say I have a boyfriend just to kind of make them stop, but I really do have a boyfriend. And even if I was single, it's still not okay to go up to people and be like, I'm horny. Let's have a horny chat. Like, that's not okay. Like, no. Like, you don't know me like that for you to ask me to have a horny chat with you. No. Like, no. What the fuck, dude? So, after that conversation, uh, everything was fine. They didn't bother me anymore. And then, I got a, another DM from another member from that same server so this person again I'm not gonna say their username or their real name uh, and I'm gonna put the chats right here like blurring out the username uh, this person sent me this meme I think I don't know if it's a meme uh, it says the feet pits darling it's been 15 days you don't want to make me angry after receiving that meme, again, I don't know if I should call it a meme because it wasn't funny. I said, yeah, no, not gonna do that. And this person said, bro, what the heck, bro, bro, please, bro, dude, come on, please, bro. Like, how many bros are you gonna use in one sentence? And then I said, no. Then they said, dude, why, bro? What the heck? <laughs> and I said, I don't fucking know you. I'm not sending you anything. And then this dude just pretend that this is all a joke. Um, to this day, I don't know if he was being ironic or not or trying to be funny, but I didn't find a joke in what he tried to do. But at the end, he replied, LMAO, chill, like chill is not a big deal like and not be a big deal for this person but it is to me like again the the, the meme that they sent me I don't really think it's a meme because it's not funny and after I tell them no they're like bro what the heck bro like like why aren't you sending me thick pics like and you're telling me to chill no Fuck you. By the way, if you're hearing any noises, there's in my windows banging. It's 
so yeah I'm sorry about that anyways after that lovely conversation I had on my DMs I blocked this person and I continue to be on the server because my thought was okay it's not the server's fault that I'm getting all these weird DMs it's just the members and so I continued to be on the server I started talking to this person like on the server and they seemed cool and everything until they <laughs> sent me a DM which oh, you can tell by the look of my face it was not very pleasant so this person goes to my DMs and said Jill, do you know how old I am, right? And I answer, you're under 18, right? Because I remember them saying they were under 18 in the server. And you have to be over 13 to be on Discord. So I said that, and they were like, I'm 14. I was like, okay, cool. And then they asked me, so, want to be my girlfriend? That question blew me off guard because one I have told multiple times in the server that one I'm 22 and two that I have a boyfriend and this person you know tells me I'm 14 and then they ask me if I want to be their girlfriend like do I look like I want to catch a case no I didn't know what to respond obviously other than no but, you know, I'm an adult, they're a child, I didn't want to answer them in a way that was like very aggressive or very rude to them. I wanted to like, let them down gently, you know, because again, I'm an adult and they're a child and I can't stood to a level of a child, a 14 year old. So I said, I have a boyfriend and they said, Oh, you're not saying that because I'm 14, right? <sighs> that sentence literally pissed me off. No, I'm not just saying I have a boyfriend because you're 14. I'm saying I have a boyfriend to not be rude to you. And because, yes, I actually do have a boyfriend. And no, even if I was single, I would not date you because you're 14. And I'm not a pedophile. I'm not a predator. So no, I'm not here to catch a case. So after that situation, I made the decision to close my DMs. Nobody but my friends and members of my service could DM me. And unless you send me a friend request, uh, you can't send me DMs. So I had to close my DMs after those situations. And a couple of hours after that last DM happened with the 14 year old, uh, something really disgusting happened on the server. So a couple of hours after deciding to close my DMs, I decided to go into the voice channels of that server and I started talking to some people who are now my friends and part of my server and then about maybe two three hours later another group of people joined in and they started making jokes about rape and saying the n-word and I told them to stop doing that because you know, I thought they were going to get in trouble by the moderators and also they were making me feel uncomfortable making jokes about rape and saying the n-word repeatedly on the voice channel and then one of the members of that server who was in voice channels with me and other people they decide it was a good idea to post a video of a man beating up a woman and then raping her on streets he posted that video i was disgusted he posts other videos one involving a turtle where he basically uh he deep throat a turtle which was really disgusting i'm surprised that turtle didn't die of asphyxiation 
was really disgusting. He also posts a lot of racist photos of you know of black people getting lynched or hanged and the KKK and the Nazi. It was really disgusting. And I will tell them to stop and to delete everything that they have posted on the server. And all I could hear was them telling me, shut up. And one of them told me, go back to the kitchen, you fucking bitch. Which, like, I have never experienced anyone tell me go back to the kitchen you fucking bitch i have never had anyone say that to me and that for me that was that was it i i that was the thing that made me decide to leave the server because it was evident that the moderators and administrator and even the owner of the server which i didn't even know who it was i never met the owner of the server but they weren't going to do anything because ever since I entered that server, people were saying the n-word left and right. And the moderators were not doing anything. The mods were not doing anything. Not even the owner was doing anything. And they weren't taking down the videos. They weren't taking down the racist pictures. They weren't kicking out people, they weren't banning people. So I decided to leave. And after I left, I decided to talk to some people from that server who are now my friends. And one of them told me that one of the moderators, you know, the people who are supposed to keep control of the server to make sure that everything's okay, they basically told this, my friend, to kill themselves, which is completely inappropriate and unacceptable, and that's not how a moderator should be, and they should be kicked out from being a moderator and that server if that actually happens. And yeah, I decided to leave that server, and I, don't know, I just thought of sharing this experience with this server because I again in the sh short amount of time that I was in discord I have never seen such disgusting behavior from these group of people who thought that racism rape the n-word was funny and who thought that being misogynistic was funny who took everything as a fucking joke they would tell everyone to take a chill pill or to calm down, don't be a snowflake, don't be so triggered or offended. And they disrespect me in the way they disrespected. It was, I left, I left. And you're probably thinking, you know, I should have left uh, since the first time they started saying the N word. But again, like it was a pretty huge server. I had no control of it. I, I, I wasn't the owner, so I couldn't tell people, hey, stop doing what you're doing, please respect the rules, or I'm gonna kick you out or ban you off the server. Like, I was only one person, didn't see any other people complaining about other people saying the N word. So it was just me against 300 other people in the server. And until uh, until that situation happened, uh, it was that was it. I, I I had to leave, and I'm glad I left. That was my experience on that server. And I know I haven't mentioned the name of the server. I was going to, but then you know I thought maybe it's better not to say the name just in case any person of that server finds somehow this video and I, I don't want to get attacked by them so yeah that's why I didn't mention the name of the server and that's why I blurred all the names of the people who DM me right here so uh, nobody can say hey you exposed this person it's not okay so that's why I did what I did 
so anyways thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far um, thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't all my social medias will be linked down below and again my discord server is right there down below in the description if you want to join and i'll see you guys on the next video bye